Hello Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you didn't catch my November videos that I did, uh, just to let you know, each video that I do for each sign actually has two readings, your love reading and a general reading. And I always start with the love reading first. I'm so happy you're here watching. I, I'm super excited to be doing this. It's so much fun for me. I just, I really just genuinely enjoy it. And here we go. I've been shuffling these cards for several minutes. Um, but I think we're about ready to, to draw. So, here we go. One more and then I think we'll be good. is for the love energies for cancer December 2015 here we go nine of wands your five of wands five of swords five of cups the devil three of cups Eight of Pentacles, your Hanged Man, and your King of Pentacles. Okay, move these up a little bit. Okay. Okay, Cancer, here we go. So what's interesting is I pulled three five cards the five in, in a row the five of wands five of swords and the five of cups and the fives are are kind of an interesting um, number you know they're sort of uh, ruled if you will by the hierophant and the major arcana it's like the the you know umbrella energy of the fives for each suit if you will and I'm going to go through each one and just sort of talk about them individually and then we'll sort of consolidate in just a minute. So I am going to focus on these fives because they're a very active um, sign and there's a little bit more like aggression, if you will, with these cards. The five is sort of like a competition. Uh, you have your boys, you know, playing with their wands, they're play fighting, they're, they're practicing, I guess you could say, but they're still like, I always think of this card as, as boys in PE class, you know, maybe playing soccer or, or some sport or something. Um, you know, it's, it's a real sport. They're actually doing it, but it's all just fake or not real, but there is still that element of I'm going to beat you or who's better or who's going to end up on top. Uh, so that's the five of wands. And again, just going through these individually and not sort of tying them together. Your five of swords, sort of that victory over I, I interpret this card as more victory over bad habits, uh, toxic behaviors, you know, addictions, overcoming, you know, things that we've done in a recurring pattern in the past, you know, in a love reading, I usually sense that this is, you know, getting back together and breaking up, getting back together and breaking up, or, you know, fighting and bickering over the same thing over and over and over, and becoming victorious and sort of overcoming that type of energy in your life or your relationship. And your five of cups, that looking at the past or, or um, pining away at the past, not looking ahead of you, but sort of looking at once what once was, what used to be, uh, feeling a little bit of resentment and regret toward things in the past. Um, so it's interesting that they're all here and that they're all kind of, you know, together, sort of lumped in. 
uh, it seems like in a re in regards to your relationship reading, you know that there may have been some of these these elements in in a relationship that you have or that could be preventing you from moving into a relationship. You might be, you know, if you're in a relationship and I'm going to pull up the devil card here. If you are in a relationship, it might as feel as though you're sort of in a a ball and chain type situation you know um, but willingly it is something that you want but it's kind of like that you know codependent type of situation you know that you have some there may be some and I, I used the word aggression before that there might be a little bit of like bickering and, and bantering and, and fighting with your partner or if there is someone that you're dating you know kind of getting to know it might be you know just sort of a disconnection with with them intellectually and you know communication wise you might be having some issues in that area as well and it might be something that just you know you might have a miscommunication or a fight and then you sort of talk through it and, and you work it out and then you um, do it again and, and then it's kind of like break up get back together break up get back together like I said with the five of swords and this is sort of the situation that you are are married to and that you are willingly keeping yourself in and you know this card often represents in a love reading deep passion or deep connection you know it's You know, it's it's a strong energy, and it's in the very center of the reading. So to have a major arcana placed here, and kind of you know surrounded by this very active energy is very interesting, um, and that you just might be tying yourself to this person, um, even though you know that there are things that are bad. You might be looking out over the past and remembering things that once were and you remembering those times that maybe some of the the better times that now because there is so much of this going on and you know you're trying to work through the issues and you're trying to break those patterns but there might just be something like really preventing that from happening um, and your pining away over the past isn't necessarily you know, helping the situation. Um, let me see. As a side note, uh, what's, <laughs> and this is kind of a separate concept, so I'm kind of jumping pages for, for just one second, because right next to the devil, you have your Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is a very light-hearted social card. You know, it's it's the birth of a new season. It's it's bringing it in. It's, um, and I have been pulling a lot of these these cards lately for December because, and I feel like it's December, and people are going to start being more social. It's the holidays. People are going out. There's parties. There's New Year's and Christmas and you know, get-togethers and work parties, you know, there's all these types of functions that are happening, and you are bringing in a new season, you're bringing in a new year, and I do feel that there will be a lot of social stuff happening in your life, and that's just makes sense for the part of the time of year, um, but that there may also be some sort of social element to this partnership or this potential partnership that you are you're sort of um, exploring, if you will. You know, when we break our patterns and we at least 
maybe if we not necessarily if we break them but if we at least recognize them for what they are and begin that process of admitting ourselves that maybe there is a problem that maybe this isn't as smooth sailing happy go lucky as you know light hearted and fun as it once was you know as it once was you know we sort of tend to reevaluate a lot of things in our life and when the relationships aren't going well, a lot of other parts of our lives sort of get get um, pulled down by that, um, which makes sense with this hangman card. You might be reconsidering things, reevaluating, uh, assessing your current situation, and. Um, looking at the world with a fresh set of eyes, looking at the world with a new perspective. And, you know, when you go through these types of relationships or go through these phases during a relationship, um, those, those really intense, you know, this, this devil card is, does have a level of intensity. I mean, it is an extreme passion. It is, you know, it's that toxic type of passion sometimes that really, you know, we tie ourselves to that is more of an addiction and more of a a thrill ride than it is like a genuine strong relationship sometimes. And strong relationships can go through phases of this, maybe where there is just a lot of, of arguing, a lot of bickering, a lot of maybe not being on the same page and not really understanding one another, not communicating properly. Um, you kind of seem to be like you're on the defensive this month. You know, you have the nine of wands. You are defending yourself. You have protected the things that you feel or have deemed worthy of being protected and you are actively trying to defend those things. And whatever those things are, if those are, you know, maybe your belief systems, your choice in career, the goals you set for yourself, you know, whatever those things are, seem to maybe be a little bit under attack. And that could be the cause. You know, why would you be defending it if it wasn't under attack? Oh, sorry, let me move the camera a little bit. Sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't see. But, you know, why would you be defending something if it wasn't under attack? Why would you have to be courageously, you know, standing and ready for anything that can come your way or anything that could threaten what you're protecting? You know, why would you be doing that if it wasn't under, you know, some sort of an attack? So that could be the cause. Your defense in that, like, energy that you may have, that you're ready to, to be aggressive, that you're ready to fight, could be, you know, some sort of catalyst for bringing on this, this kind of, you know, arguing or, or fighting or bickering and, and, you know, whatever have you. And, you know, this card, and I said, can represent a victory over those things, but it can also just represent those things and that recurring pattern that does continually happen and you know the five like I said are sort of ruled by that hierophant energy that institutional conformity doing things and, and when you just fall into that pattern and you just do it over and over and over just because that's what's comfortable or just because that's what you're used to doing you know that's that element of conformity, conforming to the things that are familiar to you and not necessarily what's best for you. And, um, you know, I do see an element of being focused. I'm going to get to these last two cards here with this. So, you know, you have right next to your hangman, your eight of pentacles, which in a love reading can very often indicate, you know, your goals, the things that you have set out to do 
And again, it is an action card. A lot of action for you. An action card in that you are putting your head down and going to work. You are producing. You are productive. There are things coming out of the efforts that you're putting in. You are reaping the benefits of your labor. Uh, but again, active, yes, but also mentally, this is a very methodical energy. You know, it is a pentacle card. It is kind of like an earthy, more practical, methodical, you know, type of, um, of energy. And this element of focus here that you're, that you're doing, I guess, enables you and your mind to sort of reset and give you this new perspective, which makes sense that they're sitting right next to one another. That you are, through this element of focus, turning your world upside down and reassessing your situation and reevaluating your goals and reevaluating the things that you have been you know, sort of tormenting yourself about, you know, but there's really no, no reason, you know, I, I feel that, you know, when you have this, this devil card, there is a true connection with this person. Um, I'm kind of feeling that this person is being represented here in your king of pentacles card, perhaps an earth sign. You know, like I said before, with the Eight of Pentacles, someone that's more down to earth, more practical, maybe a little bit of a slow, you know, these, these are signs of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, someone who is successful in their own right, who is maybe, maybe a little bit stubborn, you know, when, when you have a certain level of success, it means you are doing things right. And sometimes when you're so used to being right, you get a little bit of an ego on you. And, you know, this person might have a little bit of a, an egotistical type of vibe about them at this point in time. And again, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, you know, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus Capricorn. It could just be someone with that energy or those qualities at this period in time um, and when you have that air about you and you, you know and we all sort of do this we all go through these phases you know you know a king is definitely not the most humble character out there that's for sure um, you you tend to look down on others and perhaps say things to other people, to you, Cancer. You know, if this is someone you're dating or if this is, you know, and the love reading can carry into other parts of your life. It can carry into um, family and even, you know, close friendships, things like that. So, but let's say because it's a love reading, um, let's say this is your partner the person you might be in a relationship with or developing a relationship with. And when they have had this level of success and they look at you maybe and, and seeing, you know, the way that you're living your life or something, and they might just be a little bit aggressive with you in expressing their opinions and expressing their concerns, maybe about the way that you are living your life, maybe about the goals that you've set for yourself. Uh, you know, it does seem like what you're reevaluating is this person, you know, your relationship with this person, the, the intensity of your relationship. It seems to be like that is what you're reevaluating because maybe they do have a little bit of a sharp tongue. Um, you know, earth signs are sort of known for being a little bit quieter and a little bit more subdued. However, when you get them in this state of aggression or of competition, they are the ones that they're kind of like the dark horse that just they're so overlooked, you know, they're often overlooked. And when you 
awaken the beast, they are very sharp, very sharp-tongued, and they can say things that are incredibly hurtful or, um, you know, they dampen your spirits, but they're also usually right. You know, they're not going to fight. They're not going to pick a fight unless they know they're going to win. And typically this energy, if they're wrong, they are a little bit more compromising and a little bit more giving and flexible than, say, you know, like, like a fire sign. <laughs> um, they're just, that's just the nature. And so, you know, when you're maybe put in your place a little bit, it does give you that, like, emotional, like, ah, oh, well, um, you know, that period, that reevaluating, that reassessing well is this really maybe the person that that I want is this really maybe the person that I can genuinely see myself with but you do feel such a strong connection with them and you do enjoy them very very much I'm not going to say you don't love them or you don't care for them or you're not genuinely interested in them you do um, but maybe you're reevaluating the intensity of that and, and, and really why, why you do feel that way. And, um, you know, you might go through this period of retreat a little bit after this happens, you know, this period of reassessment. Um, just, like, take a breather and just kind of get to back to yourself and focus a little bit more on yourself just to like get your head on straight and, and make sure that this is something that you you know that you really are are wanting and, and it, if it is something that you really really want I don't see any reason why you couldn't work it out um, again the, the devil is a very strong connection and it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing it just seems that there's going to be some some uh, heat this month. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull an outcome card for you. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. There we go. Okay. So the last one. Here we go. This one. Oh, okay. So six of swords again makes sense. I mean, this is the the retreat that I was kind of talking about with your eight of pentacles. It's sort of you going back into your shell and uh, like sort of coming to grips with something that you've just been through. You know, these swords here, you know, this is the, the uh, spiritual journey. It's the evolution of your mental state. It's, but not, keep in mind, not forgetting the things that you have learned or, you know, you, I mean, again, with this sword, you are taking with you your swords, you are taking them with you on this journey and the swords represent those lessons, those, those things that we've come to terms with, the things that have shaped us and, and the life experiences that we have acquired that have made us who we are today. And it just seems this reinforces the idea of sort of pulling back, retreating, taking a breather, 
I know I sigh a lot. Sorry, I, I get so caught up in my readings and talking, and, and sometimes I don't articulate so, so well. So I kind of breathe, don't breathe, <laughs> breathe normally. So I um, take a lot of sighs. But so you do. You take a breather, and this is you going through this very quiet, very tranquil, peaceful journey. And I pulled this card for Geminis as well. I just did the reading just right before you. And I've, I have pulled it for a lot of signs in November as well. Um, it's, you know, again, with the holidays. And I didn't really talk so much about this card. This card is um, you know, a, a good card. It's a celebratory card. It's it's happy. It is very light, and it almost didn't really seem to be in the proper place in this reading. So, but now it, it kind of actually makes sense because it's um, the holidays. There might be some travel, some actual physical journey that you might be going uh, have in your plans this month, and. Oftentimes, when we retreat, when we go on vacation and, and go to a different place and see how other people live their lives, and, and you know, even if, if you're going from country to country or even just state to state, you know, oftentimes the cultures are very different. And pulling back and going through that type of an experience and being around different people and talking to them and getting their ideas and their opinions, sometimes that also contributes to this, you know, seeing seeing it from maybe other people's eyes. Again, a different perspective. Getting other people's opinions and, and seeing what they think and how they feel and seeing maybe the way you and this person are interacting and getting, you know, a vibe. Because sometimes when we look into other people's relationships, we can see issues and, and things a lot more clearly than we can when we are in that relationship. Again, it's like that tunnel vision, that, that codependent, that blindness because that connection is so strong and we tend to make excuses for things that we might not otherwise make excuses for. <laughs> and other people looking in, other people that uh, have no self-interest whatsoever and they can just see it for what it is, might might help you during this reevaluation phase because um, and I would listen to them, you know, it seems that these other people in your life, family members, friends, coworkers, whatever, uh, might have some opinions that could help you to just form your, uh, your own new opinion about it, about a situation. So, okay, so that's your love reading. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and just shuffle these for several minutes and then I will turn them turn it back on and do your general okay cancer here we go again I've been shuffling these for several minutes and I feel like we're about ready to draw one more and then we'll be done Here we go. So Cancer, December 2015 general reading. Here we go. Your Emperor, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Your Hierophant, Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, your Knight of Cups, again your Devil, and Temperance. All right, Cancer, this seems to also be a very clear reading for you. Um, I am seeing a few more elements of career in this one, which um, a lot of times the love concepts do carry over. 
which is interesting because you do have those things carried over and I'll point those out. I mean, obviously the devil we pulled in your love reading. Um, but it seems like you're sort of balancing and, you know, juggling, if you will, a level of independence in your life and your own goals and career choices with perhaps a romantic interest, which is prominent here in this reading as well. And I feel like you have a lot ahead of you or a lot in store for you career-wise or endeavor-wise um, for December. And that these are goals that you have set for yourself and they're things that you want out of your life and you know you are in your element you're doing your thing you are like just just happy and you're making opportunities happen for yourself now that and also maybe like feeling an internal tear between that which I just described and perhaps some level of like what you should do and some level of conformity because again, uh, same as your love reading, you have your Hierophant, which is the five. We pulled three fives for you last time. So here is that energy, same thing, very prominent. Um, the level of conformity to what's expected of you. And oftentimes this can represent even a person, someone that you respect, some some mentor, some um, higher up at some organization, you know, whether it's like a pastor or, or a priest or a business associate of yours that you very much respect or, you know, some sort of educational leader, a professor, something that, you know, represents an institution that's in present in your life. Um, but that's sometimes what it means, but I'm getting the sense that it's just more that essence of conforming and doing things that are expected of you. And here you are creating a world for yourself, creating a life for yourself. Again, this is a wand card. So wands are very active action oriented cards it's taking that next step it's making the next move it's you know with the two oh, oh sorry my dog's making sounds what's going on stinkers Are you okay the two of wands right next to the two of pentacles and it's that you know again the sort of dualities it's that very quiet um sense of following your own heart and making those choices and and doing things again on your own this is you know two individuals here and things that you have to do on your own those goals that you've set for yourself we all have our own ambitions in our life and you seem to be doing well with your your career and, and your goals and the things that are making you happy and the things that are making you a prosperous individual. You know, you are displaying the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And, and these cards right next to each other make perfect sense. You know, this is a card of communication and using your past efforts and your past work, you know, your portfolio, if you will, or, or your resume, the, the things that you've built up in your life and using those things as leverage to getting to the next phase, to getting that next client, getting that next position, getting that promotion. And again, here is that opportunity, uh, that opportunity it's likely to be incredibly rewarding and fruitful and you know like there's a blossoming garden here you know it's it's likely to be very very beneficial for you and again you're doing those things on your own but then 
Um, so that's on, you know, like the one side of everything. And then on the, on the dual side, you do have that level of, of conformity. And again, I'm going to, here's like your love interest, the devil card. Now this devil card can actually be twofold in this reading. It can represent your connection and your sort of, um, like, like you're so um, married to your work, so married to the things that you're doing and your own individuality and your goals. And you do have a very strong connection with those things and like, like you would never give them up. But then you also feel that connection with maybe this person. And again, this sort of carries over from your love reading and you having a a new person come into your life or an existing, you know, if you are in an existing relationship, this could be an indi indicative of, of your partner maybe bringing something new to the table in terms of romance, bringing a new offer, you know, maybe an offering of taking that next step, whatever that next step means for you. And, you know, you are very connected with them and, you know... <sighs> can even maybe be feeling a little bit torn because you do have the twos and and the dualities here feeling a little bit torn between your individuality and the things that people think you should be doing the things that you think that you know you should you know that's just what's expected of you um and here you are kind of being being tied to both and both are being represented here and you know you love both you care about both there's a strong connection with both but for whatever reason you're just um and you are able to balance you know in this this card you are balancing it and it's a little bit maybe difficult or a little precarious but you are some somewhere your heart may be pulling in one direction and your mind pulling in another. You know, here's your heart, here's your mind. This is what's good for you. This is what feels good for you. You know, there's no reason why you can't have both. Uh, just so long as you ensure that everyone and everything is taken care of and everyone feels fulfilled. Now, not to, not to say that the entire world rests on your shoulders, but... You know, there's really no reason why you can't have both. But this month, you're just feeling a little bit of a sense of, like, too many balls to juggle. Um, I am seeing this Emperor card up here that's that's squaring up this, you know, essence of conformity and the new opportunities and, you know, taking your own path and doing your own thing and that, that being torn here. And, you know, it is possible that this emperor represents just your overall energy toward the whole situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be representative of a person. Um, it's that fiery, like, strategic, um, like, let's make this happen type of attitude. And that really could be the way that you're approaching these opportunities that you are creating for yourself. Like um, fast moving, a quick start, just taking, you know, again, you had a very active love reading, so that action sort of carries over. Um, that element of attacking whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. But still always sort of having that, you know, your mind says this, your heart says this. But with the presence of the temperance card, it does seem like you will meet in the middle. You will find that internal equilibrium where your mind meets your heart. And, and find that right level of compromise. You will find that right you know, situation that is best for everyone. Uh, you will definitely make peace with 
the people and the opportunities in your life and and it will it will um sort of even out yeah this these the, the devil the hierophant the emperor such strong strong cards just really really you know all the all of these are very uh like um they're all like kings you know and i don't mean kings like as in a suit but they're all you know rulers of their domain they're all in command they're all in positions and levels of respect they're all um you know let me hold these up here they're almost all in the exact same position they're all sitting the same they're all <laughs> each of them are it's like the same card just being in different areas you know this in terms of taking action and strategy in your life and your goals this in terms of uh conformity and um you know doing doing things that are more institutional or, or, or accepting of, of the institutions in your life um, whether it's marriage or some sort of professional institution or whatever and and this same thing here in terms of your internal work workings it's the the king of your of your passion of your heart of your innermost desires the things that we just conduct kind of, things that come from like these deep dark places within us that just sort of bubble up and you know I mean you have these such prominent um, energies going on and all in the four major arcana as well so strong presence Seems like you have fire in your heart this month. So let's pull, oops, oh, like a snag there. Let's pull a card, sort of sum up the reading and pull everything together. If I could. One more, and then I think we good. There we go. And this one. Page of Pentacles. Again, I kind of see these cards as being really similar. Uh, you know, it's that the news of a new opportunity, the news of a new endeavor. Uh, I honestly see, I do see a lot of career things happening for you or, or, or goal-related, endeavor-related, pursuit-related, pursuit you know, whatever career means to you. Um, a lot of open doors for you. The page is, you know, could even represent your energy in this as well, in that it's it's you sort of taking a goal and, you know, the page is, again, a youthful, naive type of energy. It is essentially the child of the court cards. It's but the page of pentacles is still a little bit more calm a little bit it is curious yes but still very motivated still very driven still 
uh, adventurous and and wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, as I always say, um, open to new life experiences and things that the world is going to throw at them. And here you have this world that you're building, these things that you're accomplishing for yourself, you know, the, the pathways, the strategy that you're developing in order to take the new steps. And I feel like you are just making things happen for yourself. It's, you know, you have four pentacle cards in this reading. There's, there's definitely an element of of creation and productivity and creativity you know uh, you are this is a creative card you know you are an artisan you are an artist you you have built things you have created things work has been commissioned and you're commissioning more work and there's things happening for you. I think it's a very exciting month for you. It seems like you do have a little bit of, you know, drama happening in, in your heart. There's an internal, the balancing act, making sure everything's, everyone's happy, making sure that you're doing the right things, making sure you're making the right choices and, you know, making your, ensuring that you are keeping yourself happy but also keeping this other, you know, potential interest uh, happy as well and to find that that perfect meeting where the, the mind meets the heart and, you know, that's... And when, when I hold up this two and, and there's two pentacles it doesn't necessarily mean there's only two choices or only two things that you're dealing with you know it's tied with an infinity sign there are infinite number of options an infinite number of solutions that you have or that, that are possible in order to make this balancing act work in order to make it effective and to to ensure that no one is being being dropped that no balls are being dropped and that you can continue on creating a life for yourself while exploring the opportunity of a new of a new um, either a new love interest if you know that is the case or a new phase in your in your life with your partner even though you might be going through some issues based on your love reading but either way um, Let me see. I'm kind of even seeing. Well, no. I think I got everything. So, all right, Cancer. Well, I think that that's it for you. Um, thank you so much again for watching. My contact information is in the description box down below. If you get a chance, you're, you're more than welcome to, to reach out to me if you're interested in a personal reading or if you just have any just general questions or concerns. Um, there's going, I'm going to be doing a, a year reading for 2016 for each sign in the middle of December, so be sure to keep your eyes open for that as well. I'm very excited to be doing that. Um, it's going to be really fun for me too to watch all the other tarot cards and astrologers doing all of that. It's like one of my favorite things to do, so or to watch those at the beginning of the year to kind of give you a kind of a jump start and a good uh, mindset going in and, and moving forward. So you may love this month for you. I think there's going to be some interesting challenges that are going to come your way, but ultimately you will uh, have a lot of you know productive moments and a lot of good things happening as well, and um, a lot of you know things happening for yourself, which is always always a good thing. So thank you again so much, and I will see you soon.